Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopeat tutorial. This one's going to be super cool. It's going to be going over how you can make a really cool fire effect on your hand, your head, whatever you want, and how you can blend it with it to make it look real. So here's a little example. Um, but that's what we're going to be going over in this video. So stick around and we'll get this done. Okay, so first things first, you want to have your image that you want to put the fire on. And what I did next was I looked up fire effect PNG uh, 4K. I don't think it has to be 4K, but just find fire that looks cool that would work on a hand. And I'm just going to go with this one right here. So I'm going to copy that, bring it into photo P, control V. So now we have our fire and I'm going to edit free transform it to make it smaller make sure to hold shift so it shrinks it proportionally and I want it to be about this size now right click on it and flip it I'm just doing that so it fits the hand better like that I'm gonna zoom in so I can see it better so yeah about about here is good so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to the bottom right to this little rectangle with the circle in it. Click on that. That's a raster mask. And what that does is it lets you blend this with the background or whatever. So make sure you have the white box selected and make sure the top box right here is black. Go to your brush tool. The size is up to you. I'm going to do, I'm going to make it pretty small. So you can be precise, turn the hardness to zero and the opacity about 40%. And I'm on multiply blend mode. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start clicking and dragging to kind of clean it up to make it um, look more realistic because the fire wouldn't be down here like this because that's not where the fire is starting. So, and you can turn your opacity up if you want it to um, erase it a little bit faster. So I'm just going to go around the fingers. Actually, let me undo this real quick. I want to have some kind of uh, fire there or like smoke almost because it gives it a cool little effect. Because I want something to be there. I don't want it to just completely cut it off. That wouldn't look very great. So just leave some there. As you can see down here, just some orangish smoke. And now we can start blending the hand part more. So same process. I'm just going to turn this size up a little bit more. Just start going through the hand. But don't completely erase it. Just kind of blend it in there so it's looking pretty good and maybe you could uh touch it up a little bit more okay so now this is pretty good looking i'm also going to brighten it so i'm going to click on this layer go up to image adjustments brightness and contrast and it looks more realistic if you turn up the brightness and the contrast Turn it up just a bit. I also need to clean it up a little bit more down here. Oops. Okay. Like that. And you can also move it down if you want. But I had it adjusted right. And you could just touch it up a ton. If you want. It's up to you. But. That's what I was trying to show you guys. So it looks pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. You could also try duplicating it and then, you know, maybe rotating it and blending it. Let's flip it horizontally, or actually. And then I could just blend it again. But it's whatever you guys want to do. If you want to make it look super fiery, that's up to you. But I don't, so. All right, so that's how you do it. I hope this helped you guys. It's kind of cool. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.